Now, as regular viewers will testify, I am an emotional robot, not given to actual human feelings. But yesterday I received a message all the way from the US of A, and it has warmed even my waxy pea-sized heart. So while I prepare my daytime TV voice, which sounds remarkably similar to my normal voice, get the tissues ready as the story is about to begin. And let me set the scene by adding some background music. Let's make me full screen again. Here we go. Back in 2015, the historic Grey, uh, Greystone Psychiatric Hospital in New Jersey was set to be demolished. North Star Contracting was hired to do the demolition and a man called Michael Casal was appointed superintendent to oversee the project. Due to the historic nature of the building, several activists were protesting against the demolition. People were there daily with cameras and signs hoping to stop or at least slow down the demolition process. Then, on one sunny afternoon, some of the equipment operators spotted a drone flying overhead. The superintendent took it upon himself to address the drone operator, especially since she turned out to be a tall, pretty, blonde lady, who he later found out was named Jodie Johnson. In the months that followed, Michael's demolition team and Jodie's drone, drone photography started to attract attention from local news outlets including the BBC, NBC and Fox. Aerial photos of the project were soon showing up on the front page of the newspapers and their audience on social media grew. Fast forward one year and the film that Jodie made from documenting the Greystones demolition won first place in the architecture category in the New York City Drone Film Festival and sitting her there let me try that again. Sitting next to her when she collected her prize was none other than Michael Cassell. Now, in the Hollywood version of this tale, this is where it ends. The credits would roll, but there's more. The two continued to date for several years, and they became inseparable. Last year, they took several vacations together, and on one of those trips, Michael proposed. On January the 1st, 2022, they became Mr. and Mrs. Casal. The wedding included a hard hat with a wedding veil as well as personalised hard hats for the company's new family of five. The film that brought them together is called Greystone Rising and I'm delighted to be able to share that with you right now. To tear down a building like Greystone and Old Kirkbride like that, that's a tragedy. And there are multi-billion dollar companies that actually gave a proposal of what they could do with this facility. We need to demand an explanation from Treasury and we need to put this building back to use. There's plenty of groups out there that are willing to take what's left of the building even though they've started and it just takes somebody to listen. It's the walls that matter, which are quarried and made out of solid stone. They're much more difficult to tear down than they are to put up. I feel the situation at Greystone could have been avoided. Them letting it go so easily, nonchalantly, it should be against the law. I saw the majesty and the magic of what was done at Greystone. I've been around it. I've been part of it. What we have sitting here abandoned on this Parsippany hilltop is an important piece of our nation's history.
Greystone Park is far more than just a mere collection of stones and mortar. Rather than this being an empty lot, rather than the wooden stone that our forebears raised up into this edifice becoming fill, this can be repurposed, given a new life, a new chapter, it can be something to be proud of again. There were roofs that were collapsing because Roofs are often made out of wood and they rot and they collapse, but that is superficial. It's the bones that matter. If Greystone is erased forever, it will not only be we who are denied such a monumental cultural landmark, it is also the generations to follow us that will be poorer for that loss. really is a terrific film and an even better story so huge congratulations to the new mr and mrs casal and to their new family and thank you also to one of those that one member of that family ashley for sharing that story with us